So I'll just get right into it. This is the NPR for March. A uh, couple of new items, it's uh, all Cummins items. So we'll uh, go over these one by one. First thing is the in-frame kit for the ISLG application. This is a nine liter engine, they call it, natural gas. So when you see that CM2180, it looks kind of like an odd configuration there, but that is what they call for natural gas engines. So we have a new in-frame kit that features a steel piston. Originally, these ISLG engines were built with aluminum pistons, um, and they had a tremendous uh, cracking problem with the aluminum. So there was a number of updates on the piston, and then Cummins finally gave up and went to a forged steel piston that you're used to seeing a friction welded design. So you can see uh, that we now have an in-frame kit, and you can see some of the components that come with that in-frame kit. A couple of points of interest, the head gaskets that Interstate McB uh, sells are, represent the latest design. They went through some um, changes on the seals. So the seals that we have in our head gasket represents the latest uh, design updates. The piston, as I touched on earlier, is a forged steel piston, crown and skirt. It does have manganese phosphate coating, which makes it a black color, friction resistant. It also has Teflon coating on the skirt for scuff resistance. So the three numbers um, for this update is the piston kit, the 540 is the piston kit. Uh, the MCB5633416 is the engine kit. So here's a close-up picture of the, the piston. It's a friction welded style piston, so it should look familiar to you. So there's a close-up picture of the in-frame kit so you can see the different components. The piston rings look, look a, a little confusing there, but the oil control ring on these gas engines is a three-piece design. Um, you're used to seeing conventional two-piece oil control rings on most of the diesel and, and most a lot of the natural gas applications. But this one is unique in that uh, it's basically an automotive design ring. It's got two separate rails, upper and lower rails, and then there's a serpentine expander that fits in between it to, to uh, give pressure to the, to the ring. So the, the, ring, the oil control ring looks a little bit different if you uh, see, see one. This was just a refresh. This kit has been around a while, and we developed this kit a number of years ago to overhaul these ISX uh, HPI style gear pumps. What mainly wears them in these pumps is the shaft, the main shaft there you see on the left-hand side. And it's got two, two seals, and as that pump wears, those seals will eat into that shaft, and you get a groove, and then you get a leak. So we came out with this kit a number of years ago uh, that contains all the diamond seals that seal the sections of the pump together. It's got a new drive gear. You see that little hex shaft there on the right-hand side. That's the drive for the pump. And then it's got edge-molded rubber-type gaskets that go in between the sections. So there you can see one of the kits, a larger view of it. The main shaft that we talked about is up here in the left-hand side. That's the shaft that wears. And then this hex drive shaft actually goes inside of that main shaft. Those seals are the same seals that are used in select pumps. That red and blue seal. That plastic That's cone shape thing is an in, installer. Also, hmm. um, this 4954471 gasket, we developed that gasket a number of years ago because some of the very early style pumps still come in for overhaul and that gasket, you need that gasket to overhaul the early style pumps. So that's why we came out with that. Uh, here's, a, here's a larger view of the heart gasket, the 495-4471. Uh, next thing we'll talk about is some new 6.7 liter pistons. These are the latest iteration of the ISB, QSB engines. You can see the different applications there and the engine kits, but these pistons are unique in that you can see them here that they have some coatings on them. You can see they have a typical common rail combustion bowl with the flat edges on the side. 
the biggest feature of these little pistons is you can see on the picture on the far right hand side there that they're gallery cooled. So there's a cast in cooling gallery that is behind the top ring of the piston to allow oil to circulate up there to get heat away from that crown. So this is one of the other pistons. This is probably for the automotive in a pickup truck. You can see it's got skirt coating on it, also gallery cooled. And that is all I had, unless you guys have some questions.